We come here to verse 46 of the fifth chapter of the Gospel of John. Jesus wrapping up an extended conversation as John reports it between Jesus and the religious leaders. He has just told them that they put their trust, at least ostensibly, in the writings of Moses, and yet he's suggesting, implying, something he'll make explicit here, that they don't really believe Moses, that they don't really, in spite of all of the attention they give to him and all of the honor they uh, purport to lay upon him, don't believe him, because if they did believe him, then they would have readily recognized that the one who is standing before them is the very one that Moses had predicted in a variety of ways throughout his writings. Jesus continues to put a sharper point on it yet as he continues here. A, this is the word for if, takes the indicative, and that's what we have here, the indicative. Second person plural, imperfect active indicative, literally you were believing. And the uh, structure of the sentence here makes it clear that Jesus is allowing this as a hypothetical possibility and yet denying that it's actually the case in the way that the uh, sentence plays out. So it's saying, for if you were believing Mo'use, if you were believing Moses, then, and this little particle here is going to introduce the idea of would. So we have the same word, epistueta, from pistuo, which means I believe, and both of these, of course, the same word. The second person plural, imperfect active indicative, but the little on here adds the notion of would have. So if you were truly believing Moses is the uh, implication of it, then you would have believed emoi, believed with reference to me, the dative of reference there in the first person singular pronoun, dative case. So if you'd believed Mo if you were believing Moses, you would have also believed me for the postpositive, same as there, for pari. The uh, preposition takes the genitive here, means uh, concerning, for concerning emu. Prepositions typically take the emphatic form of the pronoun in the genitive case. This is the uh, uh, pronoun ego, the genitive singular of it. So concerning me, ekenos, that one, demonstrative pronoun, masculine, singular, nominative, referring back to Moses, because concerning me, that one, egropsin, third person singular, aorist, active indicative. If you truly were believing Moses, you would have believed me, because he was writing about me. And in fact, the entire testimony of Moses, all that he wrote, even the book of Leviticus, the book of Numbers, all of this, the Decalogue, it all points to Christ. And if they had eyes to see, they would have immediately recognized this is the one that he had been pointing toward, and they would have immediately bowed the knee to Christ. But they don't understand Moses. They don't believe him. And for that reason, they're blind to the true identity of the one who is standing there before them.